Hey, Drummer. My name is Raul. I'm one of the people behind DrumUp. And as there are so many teachers and schools using DrumUp, we decided to gather all this feedback and understand how they are using it so we can share with you, teacher, drummer, percussionist, teacher, so you can use DrumUp the best way possible. Okay? So let's dive into it. You can see here the screen. Um, and I'm going to show some of the main used features for you as a teacher. Okay? So first way to use it, very straightforward, is just sharing exercises, sharing rhythms through the drum up. So as you can see here, you, there are a bunch of rhythms already written by the community. You can search it in the topic that you are teaching. It can be Malinke, Samba, Rock, or whatever. You just find here. Or you can just search um, and write, maybe you are teaching one specific song. So you look for the song. Um, yeah, you can find whatever you want here. If you don't find in the library, just feel free to create your own. So which instrument do you want? You just write it down here. It's pretty easy. You save it. So I'll save it like, I don't know, exercise one of ta la la, ta la la. <laughs> Uh, you can save it public or private. And finally, you share it with your student. You can share it a link, an MP3 file or a PNG file. If you're using WhatsApp to talk or any other communication channel to talk with your students, you can just share the link and they, they, they will enter directly to Drama. Okay, so that's super straightforward and it's already super powerful because it is an inter interactive file, right? So imagine that the, the student, when they got this file, they will feel motivated to play with it. So they will maybe change the speech so they can play it better. They will press play and they can hear what's happening. They maybe will add new notes to see how it sounds. Maybe they will add new instruments. And so it's a way to um, make them more curious and, and explorers. And that's what we want, right? We don't want just them to follow what we say. We want them to go a little bit beyond. So just this is a very powerful way of using drum up. You just share exercises, scores that are alive. Okay. Going one step further, second way to use drum up. Uh, many teachers are doing this and it's incredible. They create what we call playlists. So when you see here in the all page or any topic page, you find playlists. Okay. This is a selection that we do but you can create your own playlist. So you can go here in library, okay? And these are playlists. So okay, create playlists. Maybe it will be um, whatever, like rudiments, or it can be first grooves or uh, warming up or anything that you want. So warming up. You can have a description explaining what is this warming up, if it's related to any topic, public, private, and you create the playlist. Once I am inside the playlist, I can add rhythms here. So let's just add rhythms from the library. Okay. I'll put here warm up. Let's see if someone wrote any warm up in the library. There we go. So I can add this one and this one. Let's suppose that I already know what they are. So we have to, these two warm-ups and then I can just share this library with my student. So that's very powerful too, because it's not just sharing one exercise, but maybe you, maybe you can share a model. Some teachers use it uh, in a very nice way with some gamification. So for example, you have this model of, I don't know, basic uh, grooves for rock and roll. Right? So you share this model and you will only share the next model when the student finishes the first one. So you kind of start creating a journey for the student and then he starts or she starts to get more motivated so you can get the second model and that's a reward for them that you they achieved something. Okay, So yeah, you can create different uh, playlists and once you have all these playlists saved in your profile, so imagine that you have, I don't know, 15, 20 playlists with these specific collections of, of groups, then you can have 20 or 50 students. It doesn't matter because you can you just assign this playlist for them. So for you, it's going to be way easier to organize that much content. Okay. And finally, and lastly, I think that's the, the best way to use it uh, that actually makes 
the whole thing is using groups. Okay, so as you see here in drum up, we have uh, rhythms, playlists, and groups in the end. Okay, groups are groups. No explanation needed, right? WhatsApp groups. So we have the place where a bunch of people get together and discuss about the topic. So we have groups here. You can create a group with your student or with many students. Uh, there, there are no limits in, in number of people inside a group. For example, in your map official, you can see there are a bunch of people there. Um, so for example, here I have a student called Paula. If I go here in Paula, I put my class notes. So, hey, Paula, this is our class notes, class one with the days. So I share the, the group with her and oh, homework, try doing this. So she does it. She, oh, hey, how oh, I did it, but I'm not sure about this. So she can, she sent me a recording of her playing the groove so I could give her feedback. I answered her and maybe gave a small playlist with some other options that she could practice. So groups is amazing because you stop using WhatsApp and mixing things. And here is just the notes for the class. If you want to talk about other stuff, you use WhatsApp or whatever, but here will be all the history of your class with the student or for this group of students in just one place. So that's that's really, really amazing. And in groups, you can add rhythms, you can add playlists, and you can add also recordings, which is very powerful, and the gallery and pictures. So maybe you have one score in, I don't know, a stick control, for example. So you can just take a picture of the stick control and add it here or any other thing that you write in paper or in the whiteboard. So yeah, groups is the final and the best way to use it. A bunch of teachers are using groups and, and, and they have good feedbacks. And also this is something that we are always, always evolving and creating new features. So I encourage you to talk to us, try it out. If it works, if it doesn't work, please just get in contact with us at hi at dramup.com. And we'll be super happy to listen to you and to keep evolving this too, to make you and the students play more drums. So thanks very much. And let's keep the beat, keep grooving.